Okay, continuing the testing of our new lithium battery, what we're going to do is look at these terminals now. We have an M8 terminal, which is what you normally see in a marine battery or a car battery. It fits one of these M8 connectors. And on top, it says it has an M6, which is the flat one you normally see on regular solar batteries. So we're about to test it and see if an actual connection for a marine or a car battery will work. We're going to do the negative first. I know the cord is red, but it's what shoestring had laying around. And we're going to be using our EverStart 400 watt inverter, which many of you have seen before if you've watched my videos. So we're going to do the negative first. Slides right on. I'm not really going to tighten it because it's not going to stay. This is just a test. Then I'm going to take the positive. Positive will go on next. Nice and smooth, hopefully. It is on. Now, we go to the end. They both fit. They seem to fit fairly well. Now we're going to turn the inverter on for the real test. There it goes. 13.8. So, our battery is fully charged. Our lithium battery is ready to go, and it does handle quite well these M8 connectors. Very important, because a lot of people that want to upgrade don't want to change their connectors from what they already have on their present batteries. We're going to continue the testing with the lithium battery I have purchased, and to do that, we're going to start with comparing it with my Renergy 100 amp hour gel battery. As you can see right here, we have it hooked to my 5000 watt Ames power inverter, which is right here, already turned on. And we're about to test right now with my little fancy multimeter how much power is in the battery. And it says 13.0. 13.0. All right, now, going to take a hair dryer that, of course, takes a great deal of energy, and we're going to look for how much does it draw and energy consumption. Plugged in. About to start it. And we'll see how this works. Put it on. Low. And we'll test the battery again. On low, by the way, the hair dryers pulls 808 watts. The gel is running it, but it has already dropped to 12.0. Just by turning it on, it has dropped to 12.0. So considering that, we're not even going to try it on high because we know it will probably damage the battery. Okay, folks, now, as you can see, I have removed the gel battery and I've put in the Phi Power lithium battery which is also 12 volts and 100 amp hours. And we're going to do the same test on this one that we did with the gel. Lithiums are supposed to hold the power better. We're about to find out, or at least more consistently. Let's do our check here. And we have 13 point, and it's bouncing, give it a moment, 13.8. Or we'll say 13.8. Same as we did before. We're going to have the hair dryer. We're going to turn it on low and see how much of an energy drop we have. All right, here we go. Hair dryer, same thing, on low. And it didn't come on at all. Well, let's see if we have our inverter on. Now let's try it again. This only happens when you're filming, by the way. All right, on low, and it runs it, 
take our fancy multimeter. And it has 12.8. 12.847. It keeps moving back and forth. So that's the draw difference. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Between the gel and the lithium battery. The gel brought us to 11.9, which is practically dead battery wise. This one only brought us to 12.8, which means, of course, if you were connected to an inverter and were running power, the inverter could possibly read that the gel battery was dead and turn your power off, wherein the lithium would not. It wouldn't read dead and it would continue to power your items. I did not put the hair dryer on high because I didn't want to damage the gel battery because it only has a 50 to 80 percent rate of discharge. But this is supposed to be better. So I'm actually going to take this one. We're going to put it on low first. Double check it. 12.7. Now I'm going to put it on high. to 12.2, but it is running, and it is handling the load. That's 12.1 or 12.2. So if you like these type of videos and they're helpful, please, of course, subscribe, click that notification button, and like. Shoestring out.